pretty much the wood chopping and brush cutting was done. And so now the guys decided that they are going to start raking them into piles so that we could burn as soon as the weather turns a little bit more favorable. We're waiting for the sun to dry all these piles up and that way the burn would be quicker and faster. <laughs> this is under the bamboo. Looks like they made a nice little bench. Take a rest. Nice and cool under here. One by one, manual labor. They're going to turn a lot of the wood into charcoal and they'll go sell it, make a couple of bucks. And that's good because we didn't let anything go to waste. June's cleaning up around the perimeter of the tree, really doing a good job. The boys never used a chainsaw before and when it was working it saved us a lot of time cutting instead of hacking the trees with their machetes. They love that chainsaw. I figured every time that the chainsaw went down, which was often, and it took me a while to get it bring it to the repair shop, have them see what was wrong with it, fix it. I calculated it probably put us back a half a day because with a single person and one chainsaw, we probably did the work of two or three people hacking away with their machetes. Where June is presently cutting 
is where the property slopes down about 40 to 50 feet and the slope continues from the front of the property all the way to the back where it gently flattens out. Um, here you can see the young coconut trees that they had planted prior to cutting all the tall um, trees and brush that was hindering the sun from getting to the newly planted coconuts. So that's what we wanted to do. My plan was to get rid of all these trees so that the young coconut trees that you see um, can get a good start uh, from the sun and also we were planning to fertilize it all of the trees in the property once the clearing was done Really coming out good. We've got a long ways to go. We've got another hec two hectares to clean this way. We're making nice little piles to burn. Some of them are taller than the guys. Really coming out great. June is collecting all the large trunks that they're going to turn into charcoal. So I wish I would be here for Father to do that because I really would love to film that. And maybe I'll have Rex do it for me. So this is the, the pile that they're going to burn. Um, and then this is all going to be charcoaled out. So yeah, that's, but that's what. June de Matinee Idol is doing. He's making sure he's got charcoal garbage. It's weird because it's weird because the more I stay here, there's all kinds of different birds, all kinds of different calls, and uh you know, when the breeze comes in, it is nice. So, you guys are just working away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this spot out. This is actually one of my favorite spots of all the property. As you can see down there where Rex is, behind him is the river. And that's where I want to put an access so that we can go swimming there. There's something funny that I thought all the times that we've been here clearing it's about the seventh day i haven't had one coconut not one that they call buco we have hundreds of them i haven't had one yet might have to get one today we found some wildlife here next to the river the boys found a turtle while they were cleaning it's gonna be fun staying around here. Oh, it back out. And the clearing continues. Funny thing about Lawrence, he's about 15. All he does is, while he's working, he's singing, he's rapping. June's always joking with father, and Rex is, carries on. Whoops. We had uh, three days worth of rain, and the river is swollen. And this is the same river that's been taking up all the property. 
so they're starting to clear this area back here. Lots and lots of lines. Check on one. It's amazing how much junk had accumulated over the past 10 to 15 years that the careless taker had neglected the area. You could see just by this one pile how much of it in this little tiny area Lawrence was able to rake up uh, to get ready to burn. This kid was such a hard worker. Yeah, the river from a couple of days ago, it sure is a lot different from today. Three days worth of rain and the little island here has sunk. Basically, it's swollen up and uh, Lawrence is busy making his uh, roll there. Ito na alin ito dun sa malaking poste ginagawa niyo? Mga corner ko eh. Doon muna kami may start po at lubog-baga po eh doon yung ano eh. Tatanang ko sa'yo kung ibaw natin para yung barbed wire nasa Derecho. ibabaw. Opo. Kasi kung doon sa kanto ng muhon nakalubog yung poste, masabit doon sa lupa po. Alihin mo na lang. Sa ibabaw na nitong hill. Oo. Oh, oh. Basta inline dun sa ano sa muhon para wala tayong problema kay Uton. <laughs> Ikaw magkata. Ito na pong ano. Ikaw. Lalabas pa nga yung lotel. Ikaw ang sisisiin. Bahala ka. Ikaw ang papagalita. Baka mayari. So, it's March 15. And, you know, uh, the contractor is here for the fencing. So, they're starting to do the fencing. They're trying to do uh, a, a couple of tests. The first thing is they're going to put the, the, the seven main posts that's going to be the larger post. We're going to go six feet and I think uh, eight inch by eight inch. And that'll anchor the whole property. Um, the other thing we're doing is um, we're going to test the PVC. Uh, post that will line the rest of the property from the main corner corner to corner so we're gonna test that out so they're here doing that today today is the first one of the first days that it's actually hot and sunny it's been raining like crazy and I don't know if you'll recognize but uh, Tonton is the same guy who picked me up from the airport so he has multiple jobs. You gotta have multiple gigs here in the Philippines or you're not gonna survive.
Um, You're just gonna starve here. So everybody does everything that they they can do uh, to help out and to make money. There were many times that I could not be there and could only check in on them periodically because I have, was chasing a lot of documents and paperwork. Um, but I could leave this crew and come back and just marvel at how much progress they had done for the day.